All right. Good afternoon, America. I wonder if this is recording. Yes, it is going. We're going here live. Today is not your typical podcast. Today we are mead tasting. Immediately. I'm immediately tasting mead. This is from a four-time champion. That's a granddaughter in the back. It's a birthday. It's a birthday. We're going to party like it's a birthday. So we, we've got original mead here from a world champion four-time champagne maker who now has switched over to making mead. We're going to do the apple, the raspberry mead, the strawberry mead, and the cherry mead, which I have to confess I've already tasted, and it's incredible. But let's get this show rolling here. These guys are out of Stanfield, We got Minnesota, Kevin Jr. Morris. here. And uh, somebody running out the back there, they don't want no part of no video. I know, now, you see, I used to be handsome like this, but I'm not anymore. You don't have to flex, I still got more muscles than you do. Let's get flex. this stuff poured. I was just breathing, Dad. Yeah, see, see how that works? When you got that many. Yeah. All right. Too bad we don't have a pourer here, we got to do this ourselves. It smells good, it smells Yet, just it, like Smells like apple cider. Honey says it smells good. Now this apple mead, um, I did have a sip last night. Just one sip, and so I'll take a little taste now. Make sure it didn't go bad overnight. This is the apple, and if you're an apple cider fan, or a hard cider fan, you will really enjoy this. We gotta try the spiced apple next time, man. A spiced apple. Next week. This apple mead is incredible. You only pick it up, uh, what, what's that, on uh, Saturday, Stan? Yeah, you have to Saturday. order it on Thursday or Friday for a Saturday pickup. How do we get this thing to mm. turn around? That's tasty. That's not it. Gosh dang. I'll tell you what, man. I can't turn the camera around. Cheese and rice, that's tasty. It smells so good, too. 